int of Kharashov laws. In this lab, you will be exploring circuit having resistance in three in series and parallel combinations. You will even analysis complex circuit with three branches and two voltage sources using Khrushchev's rules. The purpose of this experiment to, to, to verify Khrushchev's first and second laws is this apparatus voltmeter and a meter and connecting wires also you need power supply the theory ferris Kirchhoff law the sum of all currents leaving a node in any electrical network is always always equal to zero sigma I equal I1 plus I2 plus I3 equal 0. Kirchhoff's second law is based upon the law of the conversation of energy. It states that the total voltage across circuit loop is equal to the sum of the voltage drops across the device in that loop. Essentially, the energy you put into the circuit equals the energy you get out of each circuit loop. An equation can be produced for each loop in a circuit. For example, V in or VIN equal V1 equal V2 also equal IR1 plus IR2 because V voltage equal current times resistance convections of loop rule the following conventions apply for determining the sign of delta V across circuit elements. The travel, the travel direction is the direction that we should to proceed around the loop. Here in this table, the first travel direction, high V, lower V, you get out delta V equal VB minus VA equal minus I times R. Another travel direction here case lower V to higher V. Delta V equal VB minus VA equal plus I times R. In other case, Travel direction lower V higher V delta V equal VB minus VA equal plus E E the power source yeah same direction V here E lower V delta V VB equal VA minus E this power supply Application of Kirchhoff second law defining our side convection is important. Here direction of loop sign of E is positive and here direction of loop here in R go to I sign of V or I R is positive. This example learning with this example you have three resistance r1 equal 10 ohm r2 equal 20 ohm 
R3 4 to M, you have two power supplies. The first 10 volt, other 20 volt, you have two knot A and P. Step one, you drop draw closed loop in the circuit. Define the direction of fall of current in the circuit as seen in the above diagram. Note that the direction does not have to be the actual direction in which the current is following using Khrushchev first law at A and you can see the same example. The circuit has two nodes at A and B. We have the choice of choosing only two on the three loops shown below. This is because only you two of the loops are independent. In node A, have I1 plus I2 equal I3. At node B, I3 equal I1 plus I2. Loop 1, 10 voltage equal I1 R1 minus I3 R3 equal 0. Loop 2, 20 minus I2 R2 minus I3 R3 equal 0. Then, another uh, step, I1 plus I2 equal I3. Now, you can get I3 equal I1 plus I2 at the second. 10 equal I1 R1 minus I3 R3 equal 0. 20 minus I2 R2 minus I3 R3 equal 0. By substitution, the answer can be shown that I1 equal minus 0.143 amperes and 12 and I2 equal 0.429 amperes. This is the same exactly when you are doing your experiment like this example. Uh, and now you can see the experiment on this video. Thank you. Okay guys, so this is the experimental setup we are going to use. This is the breadboard. You know it from on the experiment. And we are using these three resistors. This resistor to the left, 47 ohms, as you can see here uh, written. And uh, the, the uh, resistance to the right, which is R2, called R2 in the lab report, is 470 ohms. And this is the third resistor, 100 ohms, R3. And uh, from this side, we connected this power supply, the positive terminal up and the negative terminal down, and adjusted to 6 volts. This is arbitrary, so I chose to uh, adjust at 6. This is the second power supply to the left, the positive terminal up and the negative terminal down, and adjusted to 10 volts. Now I will start measuring the voltages and the currents. I will start by measuring the voltage across each resistor using this voltmeter. So I will first measure the potential difference across R1, the 47 ohms. Yes, it says 3.256 volts. 3.25. <clears throat> and the positive terminal is to the left, the negative terminal is to the right, which means the current is flowing to the right in this direction. I will switch now to the second resistance. It says 0.75 volts. 0.75 volts, the positive terminal to the left, the negative terminal to the right, the current is flowing to the left. Now I switch to the third resistance. It says 6.799, around 6.8 volts, and the positive terminal is up, the negative terminal 
is done. These are the three values of the potential differences. Now I'll start measuring. Okay, now I'll measure the three currents. I'll start by measuring the current in R1. I'll shift this to connect the ammeter in series with the resistance. It says 68.05 milliamperes. The positive terminal to the left, the negative terminal to the right. Now, I will measure the current in the resistance R2. It says 1.61 milliampere, 1.61 milliampere, and the positive terminal is connected to the left, and the negative terminal is connected to the right. Okay, now I will go to the third resistance, R3. Connecting the ammeter in series, it says 66.89 milliamperes. The positive terminal is up, the negative terminal is down. So these are the three values. Now I will write down these values in the lab report, and I will attach a photo for the tables with the data with this video.